But Mario, I don't see why hanging up pictures of Selena Gomez are gonna do me any favors of becoming a more popular reviewer. That sounds insane. Selena Gomez is the Chuck Norris uh, Teen Papa. Come on. It's Selena Gomez, dude. Here, hold on, I have a better idea. Can I hang up a Taylor Lautner poster instead? Are you a fruitcake, bub? Don't take my advice then. Stay a YouTuber spare. <sighs> You're such a buzzkill. Alright Mario, it's hung up. Now what? Okay, now we gotta make uh, you look uh, presentable. You look sloppy at the ship. Like a slob. Like a bum. Fix up my beard? My beard's freaking epic! You look uh, like an idiot. We got to make you presentable. Get rid of that beard. You look uh, like a tool. Like a monkey wrench. No wonder why nobody watches your videos. You need to be more presentable to the YouTube audience. Clean up my look a little bit. Maybe I'd be a little bit more presentable for the YouTube audience. I'm only doing this because you have a badass looking mustache. Other than that, I wouldn't listen to you. God. Mario, how the fuck does me having a beard like this gonna help me get more popularity on YouTube? Mario, this is horrible. Why in the world would you think this would help me out? Look at me. You're a worse listener than Toad. Look at you. Listen to me now. And turn that hat backwards while you're at it. Just how in the blue hell is this supposed to help me? I look like a total douchebag. You always look like a douchebag. This is why people get trolled. Because of narratives like this. This is ridiculous. We got a game to review, Mario. So let's get to it. Maxi 15 Part 2. Let's check out Double Strike. Oh wow, first game in and it seems pretty awesome. Check out the graphics. This game is so far the highest quality game off the Maxi 15 cart. And I think what makes it good is that it's simple yet challenging and it's not bad for a shoot 'em up game. There's various power ups that change the amount of bullets you fire. And to be honest, I'm impressed. I can't get far in this game, but that's not a bad thing because there is some replay value in this title. And the more that I die, the more that I want to keep trying to see how far I can get. Overall, Double Strike is good times. Bravo. I'm quite impressed with this game. It's not bad at all. So far, I think this is my new favorite on the Maxi 15 card. That doesn't mean much. Venice Beach Volleyball. In my opinion, this is actually one of the better volleyball games out there. Aside from a couple of control difficulties that I have, for some reason, when I want to try to jump up to hit the ball, I'm not able to hit it. Or when I just want to hit it while standing, I end up sliding all over the place. But the graphics in this game are actually pretty good, and two-player mode in this game is not bad at all. It's actually a very fun game to pick up and play with somebody else, or at least attempt to. 
The music is catchy, and this is actually one of the better made games on the cartridge, and actually one of the better made unlicensed games. You know, Mario, I really like the cover of Venice Beach Volleyball. It's a damn shame that the Maxi 15 cart didn't have it on it. I mean, there was a chick practically in a skimpy bikini. But the bikinis in this game don't look too skimpy. I don't I don't like that. I don't understand why this was an unauthorized cart. Maybe just the game company was too cheap to pay for licensing. I don't know. Still not a bad game. Hey, let me ask you something. What do you want to ask me? Did Prentice Peach ever wear a thong in front of you? I bet that shit was hot. I bet that you would let Yoshi lick your ball sack too, you pirate. Stack them. This is another Tetris type of game, I suppose. But I have absolutely no idea how to control it. Now, you work with these numbers that have certain tile numbers. And I guess you're supposed to pair them up or match them. And somehow you eliminate them and gain points. But for the life of me, I don't know what I'm doing when I play it. I'm just dropping tiles everywhere and see what happens. Now, along the way, there's various tiles that have little symbols and images on them. And they do certain things. And some of them just don't do anything at all and get in the way. Now, I'm really not patient enough to go through this game in much detail. So, yeah, this is Stack'em. Now stack them. I don't know. What kind of reviewing skill is that? That was so lame. I hope you get trolled for that. Let's go to the next game. Next we have Dudes with Attitude. The title totally misled me on what exactly this game is. And what this game is, I have no idea. It looks like a knockoff of the 7-Up Spot character, but in different colors. And then there's a map with a magnifying glass and different levels. And then you get this. You just bounce around, and then I died. Yeah. So let's try again. So you're bouncing around, and I'm guessing... Whatever color you are is what kind of object you're supposed to get. Those little smiley face objects, but I can't control it. There you go. I think I got something. All right. So All right. now I'm pink. Fuck. Now I'm blue. All right. So if you hit those. Ah, shit. So far, I don't know how to control this game at all. Alright, I believe whatever color you are is because you hit those tiles and then you get the gumdrop smiley face looking things. Okay, so. Fuck. Let's try a different stage. Oh shit. Looks like I'm actually doing something. Alright. Okay, so you get the color of whatever you are, you get the colored object. Alright, there you go. I still don't see how this is dudes with attitude. I mean, that sounds like a double dragon knockoff, but this is anything but double dragon. But, eh, I don't like this game. Next. You know, Mario, dudes with attitude... Kind of reminds me of an Atari game. Like, the sound effects sound just like an Atari 2600 game. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they did borrow those sound effects from an Atari. Deathbot is a sci fi shooting game where you're trying to escape a spaceship and you're being attacked by hordes and hordes of death bots that are out to just put your head on a platter the levels are like a labyrinth where you have to try to figure your way out to the nearest exit this game does show tons of potential 
However, the gameplay does not fulfill the potential that this game had. Had this game been developed a little bit better, Deathbots could have been an excellent title. However, the graphics are real bland and the color gray is just excessively everywhere. It's just real hard to look at. The music isn't too bad. The controls could be a little bit better. Deathbots, it's a mediocre title at best. Deathbots had potential to be a good game and they tried it's just thrown together again and you know what I can't do this anymore Mario this ain't me all right the hat has to go forward the stupid beard horseshoe thing has to go away that all the assholes look like this and you know what I'm not an asshole I'm 8-bit fucking Eric you want to be a big mouth? Well then you know what? You don't want to listen to me? You can eat dog shit. You know, you know, you know I'm not gonna listen to you, alright? I don't, this is my fucking show, the 8-Bit Eric Show, not the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And your show got cancelled, by the way, so fuck off. Okay, that's fine, I will fuck off. And you know what? You can go ahead. And get revenge on Shady J by yourself. I will not help you with what I know. Get my revenge on Shady J. I'm <laughs> sorry.